I do remember the first New York Times article because the reporter came with us on a, on a, on a collecting trip. And actually, we brought him to Khabarostrov's house. And he was this really tall, blonde. I mean, he just completely different culture than these two short, you know. And, um, and Aaron and I love that story because we always remember. So he was prepared to follow us around. And of course, every place we went, all they wanted to do was feed us and talk to us. And they did not want us to leave. Every, every place we went, in many cases, these folks, their own children and grandchildren were completely uninterested in their Yiddish world. And here were young people coming in, asking them about their lives and their understanding, you know, an iota of their worlds. So they never wanted us to go. And the guy was, I just remember this New York Times reporter, could not get over the amount of food, every single stop entailed. And Havarostrov also, he was famous for making Vishniak, which is a cherry alcohol that Jews is from a certain part of uh, Eastern Europe were very famous for, and he would have a bottle of it behind his couch fermenting. And then, and then, and we were there for breakfast, you know, and he'd bring it out and make us all drink this fermented cherry drink, alcoholic drink. Um, actually, there's a picture of this guy, this reporter in here. I just saw it. And he wrote the first big article up there. There's a picture. So that's Chavar Ostrov and his wife, and that's the New York Times reporter. And that, this is a picture that Aaron took. So there's me. And I'm wearing actually a pin when Chavar Ostrov, I think he was a plumber, Aaron, I'm sure. Doug McGill was the name of the uh, New York Times reporter. I didn't remember that. But um, he became an artist after he retired. And he would only make art with objects he found in the street or things he collected. So he made me a pin that was from an eyeglass that he painted on an eyeglass and then put a, you know, a pin... Uh, thing on the back, so I'm wearing that there. And I still have that, actually. The glass is gone, but I still have the thing that he painted on. And he, and he painted me, um, uh, he gave me a painting of his that I still have. Um, but yeah, so that was the first big article in the New York Times with this guy, Doug McGill. Uh, I don't remember the article, but I, yeah.